Welcome back to Castle 83. We're here at the second um, fork in the road, I guess you would say. So of course in the main path after this road, you get, still, you get Sylpha here. Sylpha, you can see her statue in there, in the clouds. This road, as you can see, it's, it's a so-called hard path. It's full of swamps and demons and dungeons and basements. It's the hard path, but it's the path to Alucard. Yeah, I had a boomerang from the last level. So again, this level isn't a direct follow-up to the previous one if you're following the episodes by number. Because now I'm just jumping around and just doing all the forks in the row that I missed in my main LP. So episodes 1 through 15-ish are the main game. So if you want to see everything in order, go back to there and then follow the links to get to this episode. Or just follow in, the, follow in the numbered order and just keep in mind where the forks were. If you know this game, well, of course, you just know where they are anyway. I know a lot of people haven't played this game. There's probably a lot of Castlevania fans that got in in Symphony of the Night of Dawn, or Dawn of Sorrow, the GBA and the DS games. Those are all pretty good. So. I don't know, I prefer the... I've said this before, too, I think, in the other LPs, but I prefer the platforming combat um, California, as opposed to the Metroid-style item-collecting RPG-style Castlevania games. Like, I don't know why. I don't know. Collecting armor upgrades and weapons and experience points to, and stat balancing doesn't seem like a Castlevania type thing to do, but maybe just because I'm so used to the old ones. So... There's a lot of debate also between, um, out of the simple platforming ones, whether Castlevania 3 or 4 is the best. 4 seems like a good game. I've never really beaten it or played it. But it seems a lot different from this one. Oh, almost made it. So, I'll possibly be doing... Castlevania 4. Most likely, actually. I don't know when, but... What we'll probably do is, eventually, down the road, might not be till later in the summer, maybe towards April, but... of 2010. Of course, I know you may be watching this in the far future from when I recorded this, but... Eventually, I'm going to probably do another vote for some Super Nintendo games. Maybe Castlevania 4 versus... I don't know. Something else. As always, I do take requests but only if you put them on the comment section of my channel page. And even then, there's no promises, of course. I may get to it in three months. I may never do it. I may put it to a vote. I don't know, but I'm always looking for ideas. I kind of want that upgrade. Like recently... Well, not recently, but... It's, uh, people requested Mega Man 7 and Mega Man X for me. Um, Kirby 3 Man 3 has been requested. Um, a boy in his blog. Some of these are impersonal messages too, and I... Well, that's fine, of course. I prefer requests from even the channel page where everyone can see them. But yeah, there's been a couple requests over a personal message too, of course. Alone in the Dark 2. Um, so, lots of people really enjoyed my Alone in the Dark walkthrough, and I appreciate that. Again, I'm rambling. I'm not even talking about the game at hand. But, yeah, this block 4 is so incredibly easy right now, I don't know. I'm being kind of careless, as you can tell, but... After fighting, you know, through Dracula's castle just now, I mean, the clock tower and these levels seem a lot easier. So... Oh, I should have jumped over that bat as well. With all these hearts, I might as well use them, right? Because <laughs> you lose hearts when you die. I, I, just, I think i Oh, oh crap. I have the freaking clock and one hit point left. You're supposed to fight this guy with the boomerang. I totally forgot. I was rambling out the ass about random crap to do with other games. Totally forgot. There we go. Well, that's a relief. Often, the weapon you want for the boss is in the previous block, like say it was in block 4 2. So if you die, you can't go back and get it. That really cheeses me. Luckily here, they're like, oh, it's only block 4, and you're on the hard path. Let's give him a break and put the weapon you want in the same block as the boss. That's good. Of course, 
So, of course, I need to get there with some health intact. But... Oh, yeah, there's the clock. Okay. But the boomerang's awesome against these bats, too. Because they can't duck under it when they're stationary. They're much easier than the bats to come from off-screen, like how the Medusa heads come from off-screen. So that's a bonus. There we go. Yeah, I'm not too worried about ammunition for this boss fight. It's mostly just have some health handy. As you can see, he, he splits apart too, so... I'm glad that thing doesn't sink into the swamp like I would. Wow, we got through an entire block plus the, blo the boss fight in less than one video? That doesn't happen much in the later parts of this level of this game. See, we're way to the south here. You can see on the map. So, uh, I found on Google Image Search someone put together all the maps in this game, the game map, and traced up the paths. It's kind of neat. Yeah, there's lots of enemies and interesting things in this section of the game that you wouldn't see if you took the upper path. It's a very different game. I just want to see what's up here, if anything. Oops. It's probably nothing. Maybe it's a one-up. Oh, it's nothing. Okay, so Grant should be able to get that candle if I'm careful enough. So, left over. Oh, it's just points? Really? Now if you wait, it'll eventually drip down and you'll be able to take that lower path here, but I don't, don't really see that as worth it. You can just kind of sneak in here. Or maybe, not. maybe not. But I no, I don't want to fight those mummies. They recur infinitely. You can see where they came down with the managers. Yeah, they recur infinitely. They're basically just like the mummy bosses, only... They die fast, but they keep coming and coming. I love the music here, too. It's really awesome. It's so creepy, and... It's like, what are we, in a cave? We're in an underground swamp? We're in a tomb? We got all these bones here. This is some creepy shit. Now, this is some hardcore Casuania stuff. Again, okay, I don't really care to wait for the lower path. It's... I don't know worth the wait. Grant kills these slimes off so easily anyway. Maybe not if they do that, but... There we go. Got me a knife. Ooh. Let's see what's up here, if anything. Oh, really? All these neat places that Grant can go, but there's nothing good here. No meat or anything hidden. I'm sure there is in some places, but... Again, I'm not really sure what the benefit of the lower path is. But... It's there if you want to. I guess I'm able to kill this guy. Yeah, having the, his attack speed so high, it's great. An eye on the time here. Oh man. <laughs> Keep an eye on my health too while you're at it. Come on, be, be level 6 already. Be level 6. No, still level 5. I mean, this, I guess these fights are one hit kill anyway. I like being on the top path here. Grant jumps so high that it makes. Uh oh. I forgot you could do that. Climb along the top there. Just like Mario. Running along the scoreboard of the screen. Oh crap, you can't really kill that guy, either. They can do this. Aha! Uh -huh. Sneaky bastard. Run, 
Run away. Run away. Oh man, is this a boss fight? I'm so dead here. One health left? No way. I'm not gonna have time for this. Um... Although you can do that boss fight without dying once. Okay, yeah, let's use Trevor to get his whip powered up and... Wow, I'm out of time for sure. So let me just get through here. Okay, I'll meet you back exactly here. 